Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DeepView tutorial. Today I'll be giving an overview of the deep list module here in DeepView, which is our watch list. Now, just like the screener, you've got the same basic capabilities. You've got your data columns here on the left hand side. You've got our charting engine and then also the stats table down here with EPS as well as sales data. You also have the same capabilities to sort by different columns. So for instance, you can sort based on the industry here within your watch list and then also do a secondary sort based on another data point. Let's do relative volume on a 20 day basis. So here you've got different groups here, and then you can see within those groups, you're now sorting by that relative volume. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and clear the sorting capabilities here and focus on the key deep list features. First, taking a step back, you can see that you've got uh, your recent deep list right here on the top for easy access. You can quickly switch back and forth between them, and this is scrollable. So you've got more deep lists that can fit just in here. Uh, you're always able to scroll back and forth and you can also click this drop down uh, icon right here, which allows you to search for a specific deep list as well as scroll uh, using this system. In addition, you can create a new deep list right here from this menu. So let's go ahead and make a test one deep list. Let's go ahead and create that. And you can see it appeared right here on the left hand side. And you can also create a deep list by using this button right here that brings up that same pop up menu. Going over to that new list, there's a few different ways to add symbols to this watch list. First is by clicking this button right here, and then you can also bring this up at any time by clicking this button on the type right hand corner. So let's go ahead and click this right here. And the first way is to go ahead and simply type in a specific ticker. We'll go ahead and add the QQQ by checking this box and clicking add. Now, another way to add stocks to your watch list is to go ahead and paste in different symbols from somewhere else on your computer using your clipboard. So let's go ahead and click add new once again. Let's go over to Twitter, copy this list of tickers, command C, go back to our deep list and go ahead and command C. And this brings up these automatically. They're automatically checked and we can go ahead and add them to our deep list. And there you go. We've now got our deep list all set and ready to go. And one more way to add symbols to a specific watch list is to use the bulk actions, whether you're in the screener or deep list modules, and basically select different tickers, whether it's in your screen results or in a watch list, and click either copy or add to. And this brings up the different watch lists right there for you. And the same functionality exists in the screener itself. So let's go ahead and add these to uh, this watch list right here. And you can see those stocks were now added to that deep list. And you can also use these bulk actions to go ahead and delete stocks from a specific watch list. We can go ahead and delete these. There's a uh, pop-up that comes up to make sure that you definitely want to delete these, but we'll go ahead and say delete. And there you go. This watch list is now updated and is good to use. And as always, you can always space bar through uh, names on your watch list and take a look at both their um, technical chart here as well as the stats table down here showing earnings and sales as well as surprise percentage and surprise dollar amounts. And if you scroll over to the right hand side, you can see the estimates going out quite a ways on a quarterly as well as annual basis. So that's a quick run through of the deep list module here in deep view. We wanted to make sure that it's quick and easy to use intuitive as well as being powerful. So let us know if you have any questions down below and we'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.